what's up folks it's Ed so I'm still monitoring the election the whole Donald Trump situation and the backdrop of everything and for me being based in Torah now the actual word of God it's clear like um most people that's born Christian or grow up Christian they're always talking about this great Armageddon, this war, uh, good versus evil. And most people, when they talk about the story of Armageddon, they always mention themselves from the side that's good. But what they don't understand is by the word of God that they are on the other side. And I'm, that's one of the things that make this shit keep going because... We, us, me, you, we all operate what we did, I did, from the position of I'm actually keeping God's word because emotionally it felt the way, right? So with this, this election, this election showed a lot of stuff to me, even, excuse me, uh, being versed in the word is bringing clarity too because um. At the beginning of this Trump presidency, I was just like everybody else, basically. I mean, you know we get in line, and I think the way that you call yourselves black people, the way the black people will be free people if they had to take a deep look at their existence, how they socialize and be honest. What what strides have you made? What change? What have you put in into your world, your child's world, your life that you didn't copy from who you call white people? And that thing right there, all these identities other than mankind, that's what have you. So the deep I dig into the scripts, the more lines that I break, the more barriers that I see that wasn't there, that was superficially put up by us men. And all you need is opposites for dissension or war and a connection for all of us, no matter what your skin, your hair, the connection for all of us is this oxygen. You know what I'm saying? The creator made it so you can't have one man over another man. And we can live vastly different. And the creator gave us a right to do that. And that's one landmass on the whole entire surface that allow you to live or supposedly allow you to live the way you're supposed to. Because here in America... This is the one landmass that says one nation under God. That might not mean a lot to you, right? Uh, maybe you don't believe in God, but to our creator, that's everything. That's to invite the control of land. And I can't do anything for you if you're a non-believer. It might be time for you to stop looking at the video right now. It's going to get a little shaky for you. So with the creator making this land... It ain't no receipt for it, right? So you kind of got to give in your right or concede your birthright to man, whether you're black, white, or whatever. And once you get into that mind state, it's hard for you to get out. So you think the powers that be don't believe in God or are godless. And it's the opposite. The powers that be understand exactly who the creator and what the creator is. So they got a series of mechanisms, social controls that keep you away from that, keep you away from your divinity. Um, any kind of fear mechanism that they can use to pull you towards them instead of you looking inside or looking to the creator is, is a part of it. You have people that you know that's... Um, you say agents, right? It's agents of ambition. And through their own ambition, wanting to be ahead and get ahead, they can be used and put in certain situations to, to herd you along. Now, 
you see a lot of people that call themselves black or down for the black cause and it's amusement and it make you feel good for the minute and they got a decent amount of followers and i'll talk about that too because this election showed that it's social engineering and the faces that look like you the faces that look like me um the powers that be choose and they can herd you into certain rooms certain social situations by the algorithms like me here on youtube um it's a free for all here right you you figure how big youtube is and i don't have to be interesting at all i could be the worst youtuber ever but just by chance of how many people live on the fucking planet i should have over fucking 500k people just on the down low just stumbled into here somebody let's say white supremacist there's got to be at least 500 white supremacists that like come in here and comment fuck you nigger and that's not happening so it's social engineering on here and it's even in the court documents facebook google twitter they all work together and it's a biggest scam worldwide so all of this shit is about to come out and i'm saying that to say um people that look like you or you take in or think that's amusing that's what they are but it's no movement in there as long as you in the same spot talking shit about white people cursing whatever you want to do that's fine with the powers that be but you stationary you not moving so for me it's dangerous for my voice to get out because it's real movement in what i'm saying whether you like me or not i don't drive with a license i know how to make that happen now imagine if everybody black that was down for the cause or say they down for the cause would stand their ground on that I teach people that traffic infractions are not a crime and take them through the case law to substantiate that. This election right now, all it's going to take is one state to say, oh, this is fraud because of these things. And those things happen in all state. That's going to set a precedent. So they're not going to have to go to court in all those states. Once the Supreme Court decide on a certain case, that's case law. Case law has already been settled that traffic infraction is not a crime and it was settled during the case of people versus battle but it wasn't settled straight up traffic infractions that was one of the premises that the cases was decided on that we're not interested in misdemeanors and traffic infractions those are not crimes we're interested in the actual crime which i think was manslaughter somebody died because of an automobile accident so you have to be comprehensively sound and that's the thing you can't be when you're emotional so they get your agents of ambition, people that would be fake leaders, but they ain't going to do shit. But entertainment-wise, a face value, teach you how to make money, or open a school, or that kind of thing. But no real breakthrough, because opening the school, they're just teaching you or reconditioning you the information that's already out there. And then let's talk about education as pertaining to God. Um, it's one book, one script. So how can there be a higher education or even that? Like, and then education. You can't be educated about the creator, your spirituality. It's innately in all of us. And when you read the book, you see this. The only reason that the book was written was to have a judgment against you. So heaven and earth could judge against you. When you read the scripts... Uh, Deuteronomy 30 say this word this this order not too hard for you to follow it's in your heart and in your mouth that's it for you to do it's not in heaven that you got to go up there and get it and say yo go get it so I could keep it it's in the scripts just like this Deuteronomy 10 11 and 12 it's not in heaven that somebody got to go and get it for you it's not in the sea that somebody got to swim down there and get it for you no this thing is in your heart and in your mouth so you could do and keep it and this day they're going to judge heaven heaven and earth. This, These scripts, that's going to use, that's what they're going to use to judge against you. So when you say, I don't know, it's like, no, it's written down right here. It's in you anyway. You know, you know, you know just like I know when you're being deceitful, when you just want to win an argument, when you're just saying any fucking thing you can say because your mouth works. You gonna pay for that. You might not think you are, and you might not pay to the person that you're getting over with on the spot. But you're going to answer for that. And it don't matter whether you believe it or not. You don't have to believe it. But your life reflected. How many losses that you t you took that you thought was going to be a win? 
Every plan that you make that quite just didn't make it. Relationships, jobs, you stay with one step behind. It's always something broke. And we say the Lord won't put any more on you than you can bear. You believe that shit? You just repeating that over and over. Have you ever thought about why would the creator make something for it to suffer? Do you own shit because you want it to suffer? Your kids, do you want your kids to suffer? You've been lying to yourselves forever. And now, we in a, a period of wisdom repeated so many times. The creator taking care of it on his own. So, people going to be on the right side of it or the wrong side of it. But it's going down. And it's in, excuse me, instruments in place to make it happen. Now, whether you like Donald Trump or not, he directly against the system. Directly against it. Now, he a man like anybody else. I'm not praising him to the point of he faultless. And that's what people will see. Oh, he did this. He did that. I'm like... I don't have time for the emotions. You've been under this shit as a black people since I'm listening to Malcolm talking about liberals and confederate, uh, confederates, <laughs> conservatives, and Freudian slip. And this was like in the 60s, and he's saying the same shit that the liberals been tricking Negroes, acting like they their friends, promising you shit. Back then, it was being a part of it. T today, whatever it is that they promising you, you got your Dave Chappelle's, your Puffies, and all of them, and they can say what they want out their mouths. They paid to say that. As long as you stay in the fucking place you in. Al Sharpton was alive back when Malcolm Martin, only Malcolm and Martin are dead. It's a reason for that. It's a reason for that. They wasn't talking black this, black that. They knew what time it was. You're not going to get your freedom from claiming that you're black. And the powers that be gave you that, they gravitate towards. They gave you Africa. They gave you Jesus. And all these mechanisms are something that you'll never get over. You know, you can't see being black. You can't see being from Africa. You're not going to be able to see under Jesus. For me, the, the blessing was coming down with cancer, something that tore me away from, from the day-to-day. -day what everybody believed, what, what was socialized, socially engineered into me. The whole venom, the black, white, the I hated Trump as well when he got elected. Shit, I was on Periscope going crazy about Trump, but I did realize he was the best thing that happened to black people because it would bring everything out. Like, Trump is a businessman and he a New Yorker, and he's an American, so he's not going to say black, white, whatever. He says America. And black people can't understand that. They think somebody need to cater to them because they black. This is where your lack of belief in God come into play. You that fucking hurt. You trying to gravitate towards a color instead of pulling from the scripts that you say or today is Sunday. From the God that you believe in, you have another man telling you or giving you your value, basically, because of your mind. When black people think of success, they think of it in terms of color or, or how black success comes is, is one of those things they'll shame you about or not. Like I say, Ben Carson, successful as fuck. Clarence Thomas, Supreme Court judge, you know, Condoleezza Rice, Colin Powell, all these people are uh, what you would call your term, black and successful. But they don't seem like things that black people are impressed with or you, you're coon or you're on the other side if you like that. And then you have to dig into it and say why. And then what's the quintessential black thing? What what makes you soul brother number one? Is that just talking shit, acting a certain way? That's that's chill. But for black people, how's that move them forward? I mean, you can get the last word, have a sassy comeback, or get snappy with somebody, but you're still living in the same house, winning arguments. Being the smartest person, or you know you can't get over her, she's going to say some shit back, or him, or whatever. 
But how far do that take your kids? When do you change that shit? Ante up and stick your foot in the big game because if you talking that shit, you need to be able to walk it out. So I talk about voting. I talk about laws. I actually don't drive with a license because I don't need one lawfully. And don't pay taxes because you don't need to lawfully. I heard the dude Donald J. Trump say, until they change the laws, you take advantage of what the laws are. And constitutionally, I have every right, every right to everything that the creator made. And that was the sneaky part about our God, right? The powers that be, you want to call them white. Okay, we can call them white just for this video. But honestly, it's not white. It's not black. The pigmentation don't make a difference. It's you either righteous or you wicked. That's the story. That's the truth. The be all, end all. And everything else is a distraction. Everything. When you tap into your creator, at the beginning, you'll realize it can't be anybody that's picked over anybody else. It's got to be your actions. That's it. Everything you have, anything that you manifest comes from your hands. You mastered it all out. You was given a blueprint how to do it and how to stick to it. But who we are in our imagination, we'll go this way or we'll go that way. When you look at animals, they don't have a book. They don't need a book because what you call animal instinct is they don't have a will. They have to do what the creator made them to do. You know, they don't write love letters, but they, they recreate. They don't have to talk slick shit to get the ass, but they recreate because they need to be here. So the basic instinct for life is put inside of them. We reason and deduct and we think we know more than the creator. It's amazing that something that was created is going to doubt the existence of the creator. This is crazy to me. I mean, I don't care who you are. You're not going to tell me you're more intelligent than me based on what you find important. I, I am self-lord and master, right? So that's what the scripts say. You can't tell me anything that I can't use to make my day more fruitful. Other than that, it's sorcery and witchcraft. The most high deals in directness, and y'all want to play chess. I don't. I want to eat. I want to put clothes on. I want to go in the house. That, that's what I want to do. Once you put capes and shit on that, now you've been hypnotized and enchanted because I did drive a BMW, Lexus, Volvo, Sterling. Like, I drove all that shit. That was the, the hypnotism, and wasn't nothing different. My stature didn't go up, it didn't feel any different, but I had that shit superficially. Y'all might have thought something was slick about it, and that's who it was for. I brought that shit so y'all could see me in it. I'm past that place now, and still got the finances actually more that I could front and stunt a lot more now, but it was fruitless. I'm looking for worth. The creator ain't make us worth shit. He created us to be valuable. You know, that's without a sense. So I manifest that from inside out. All these things on the earth were here already, right? Whatever they became, it was because of my hands. If you don't work, you don't eat. Work is not a job. So society done flipped the word of God, and you got to pay attention to words. That's the difference between laws and policy. You get brought into words that you used to, which you accustomed to, and you get enslaved with those words. Everybody say words count. That's what y'all say all the time. As a man speaketh, right? Y'all speak your own slavery. So when I say I don't pay taxes, I don't say that with my shoulders down like this or the same way with police when they pull up on me. There's no business with me because I keep the order of God and that is the order of the land. And your powers that be can't tell you that, but they know better than stand against God. You know, that's why he always around. So they slide you Jesus to divert the attention from the real power. So you've been playing around the whole time. And when I say Jesus is bullshit, you get offended. You can't even explain to yourself why. I say, fuck Jesus. Now you feel in a way, right? You ain't researched nothing. You just got that passed down that Jesus is correct. But somehow your life fucked up. And y'all think that our creator made us to fucking suffer. 
And you motherfuckers walk around talking about long suffering, long suffering. I'm like, are you goddamn crazy? You know, long suffering with the creator. What book are y'all reading? The suffering is a part of the punishment. And y'all need the suffering so you can stay in your bullshit. Like, I'm not playing with y'all. I done got cured of stomach cancer in, in a brief moment. You know, and um, how long you've been in this word, it don't make a goddamn difference if you're not applying it. You know, it's been people that worked out longer than me, skated longer than me, played ball longer than me. And when I got in, I got busy. I didn't play, so you're not going to tell me your time in mean you know more. That's bullshit. That's that's one of the qualifications of man. That ain't what my creator saying. I don't fall under your jurisdiction. As long as I'm divine, no man, no disease, nothing can check me. I live in it. Y'all only have opinions about the stuff I'm saying. And I'm freer than you because I walk in the glory of the Most High. And when I say that God's word is the law of the land, it's real. You have to concede it. And when you concede that he can't help you. Look at this election right now. All of us. Donald Trump again. All of us. I don't care if you like Biden, Harris. Don't lie to me. You ain't got to lie. I'm not going to believe this shit wasn't fixed. It was fixed. I didn't vote. Because I don't have to vote for a man to rule me. I'll never vote. That's disrespectful to the creator. He didn't want us to have a king. If you're familiar with this book, 1 Samuel 8, like Sam was beefing about the people getting the king. The most I ran it down to him. Tell him what the king going to do. Told him they still wanted the king, so I can't vote. The creator is against that. But I do know that... If it's a job situation and a boss situation, and that's what the United States of America is, a corporation, the best man for the job was Donald J. Trump. And the Most High is using him because he is against the establishment. And it don't matter whether he go to church holy or not, the Most High need a hammer right now, right? So Donald Trump won't be the holy hammer. Because he'll do, he'll stand with most of you niggas won't, most of the leaders don't, or whatever. And he was set up for it. He often sovereign. Like, people don't understand that. Like, we all are sovereign. So, here's the deal with Donald Trump and why black people hate him and don't even know. Donald Trump is a constitutionalist. Every right that you have under the Constitution as an American, he down for that shit. Y'all call it, whatever you call it, it's big business, paying attention to the details. You ever hear the, uh, the saying, the devil is in the details? Well, this is how the Constitution work. That's not magic, y'all. The Constitution protects every right that you was born with on God. Nobody gives you rights. The Constitution protects them. You was just born with some shit that can't nobody take from you. The right to say no is it. You know, not to participate in anything you don't want to is it. You don't get forced in anything. No matter how much press it, birth certificate, you don't have to sign that shit. Y'all really don't understand that. Your birth certificate, your social security card, that's not anybody's business. When you come out your mom, they don't get to plug you right into their situation. Like, we can't take that in because it's been going on so long. Oh, this is just a formality. Tell them no. You haven't committed a crime against anybody. How can they force you into their concentration camp? See, I rescinded my shit. Social security card, birth certificate. I'm a free person. And I don't mean what they're going to try to tell you. Now they're going to scare you. Oh, you don't answer to nobody, huh? I answer to a higher power than you motherfuckers. I answer to God. Torah, one nation under God. Pledge of Allegiance, one nation under God. Bible in the courtroom, one fucking nation under God. So, let me tell you how much I keep the word of God and you don't. The government. We got a place called Mount Rushmore with faces of some presidents on it. Right? That's the American way. Um, Exodus 20 and 4, so they have no graven images. We got statues, Harriet Tubman, that's a graven image, um, Martin Luther King, along with the Confederate shit. So when black people talking shit, you in your fields about some Confederate statues, don't nobody give a fuck because you're black. Well, the creator don't. He give a fuck because those are graven images. So you're going to keep those graven images up because you don't know how to get them down proper. 
Now, if America is true and it's one nation under God, then if you press them in court with the Bible that you just swore on, Exodus 20 and 4, any man of God, any any lawyer of God can get those statues taken down based on that. It's constitutional. You know, my right to worship you can't get rid of and I'm here in the land, so you that's disrespectful to me. If it's one nation under God, this isn't black, white, anything. It's one nation under God. It's how God transcends color. So it don't make a difference if you have an affinity for one thing and I like another thing. That could be in God gonna say, fuck both of y'all. I said this, so and it's that simple, but y'all wanna play chess. If we just went off the word of God, how could you get a parking ticket? Explain that part. Or the speeding ticket. That's not in there. But society have you thinking that you owe them something for being parked somewhere too long. Let's go back to the beginning. Which one of the, the government agencies made the earth in the beginning that they can say you can't sit here that long? Here's the switch with that. In order for them to charge you for being somewhere too long, you have to be using that spot to make money, right? The roadways, the, the public roads. This is the trick. They try to say that you're supposed to pay for the public roads, right? You pay for public roads off of toll roads and stuff like that. Speeding tickets, parking tickets, all those things. And those are supposed to be paid for by companies that's using the roads to make money. So they need to go along with certain um, rules. You know, they need a driver's license. Say so they license the drive to make money off these roads. That's the only people that need money. So they have rules and regulations to go by. They can't go but so fast. You know what I'm saying? All their equipment on their cars and trucks need to be working. Their windows can't be tinted. All these regulations don't apply to me and you. The land is for us anyway. It's regulated against those who might do harm to us. Being your automobile is too big. Uh, it's not in proper working order. And you might damage the general public. So you can't be parked here that long because it's for us. And if you're using it for commerce, then you're the one that's going to pay, not me and you. So speeding tickets, parking tickets, all these things are for corporations. And they done flipped it around and got you paying driver's license fees, and it's basic law. And I don't drive with a license. And the minute that the police pull me over, I tell them that. Now, this is beautiful right now because people thought that I was just being some kind of difficult asshole. And I'm not too. But I absolutely told the truth about law with the driver's license. And in this society... They they don't want law. They want you to go along and comply. And when you don't, they're going to try to make an example out of you. So I'm bullheaded, combative, and stubborn. And you're going to have to make that example out of me. So I went to jail because I didn't give up a driver's license because I wasn't driving. And I stood on it. And it was bumpy because I didn't want to go to jail. I've never been to jail before, but those were my rights. Went to jail. They gave me two months. Ended up doing two weeks. I walked through there like I was invisible. Um, and I was apprehensive about going. I'd never been to jail before. You know the jail stories. It was like I was invisible in there the whole time. It was just I had to be there. And that probably wasn't from me standing up on a driver's license thing. But I did some other shit in my life that I had to be punished for. Like, it, it is what it is. You know, we you, you do things and... You don't get punished the minute that you do them. So I understand that too. And this is where no weapon formed against me shall prosper come in because the rest of that is any tongue that contends with me at law you shall defeat. So it looked like I was taking a loss, but in the end, I don't need a license to drive. What I served time for was they pulled the switcheroo, which, which is what they do, and it's, it's real fucked up that they do it to people. I'm glad it happened to me because I am not practicing law. I am a lawyer because I need to know what pertains to me. I, I can be a lawyer for you as well, presenting your facts, and they can't stop that. They'll try to tell you that you can't get anybody to talk for you. Law don't cost. So I found out the switcheroos. They hit me. They pulled me over because they said, 
the flaps from my bike rack was covering my license plate. I don't even have to have a license plate. Traveling, right? Pulled me over, didn't give my license or whatever. They told me I didn't listen to a lawful order of a police officer. And he didn't have any business there with me in the first place because I hadn't broken the law. The only reason, and they won't tell you this too, but their time is coming to an end. It's going to be violence against them, but they can be got rid of all together. Like, police are unlawful. They want to deal with the law. He wanted to have a contest with me. I hadn't broken the law, so they created a crime on the spot. This is our law enforcement officers, and when people say, don't say fuck the police, I'm like, nobody just has a beef against the police. Y'all out of y'all fucking mind to be saying shit like that. And again, Donald Trump exposes who the police are. Legally, Republican observers was kept out of buildings by basically state-based police in Philadelphia that's listening to City Hall. Meanwhile, in New York, Mario Cuomo tried to put a block from joining people at Thanksgiving, your family members. The sheriffs was like, that's unconstitutional. You know the basic difference between police and sheriffs? The sheriffs are constitutional. They swear an oath to the Constitution, so they're accountable to you and I, not City Hall. And if you stand on the Constitution, you'll win every time. So this election, none of it was constitutional. Society is telling you a whole bunch of shit. Um, the media is pushing a whole bunch of shit. It sound good, but law is at the core of all of this. And they need Donald Trump to concede. That's the only way they can win. That's why the public media, oh, everybody is pushing. He's holding this up. He's holding that up. He's not. He, he's contending with law. And he's going to win. Whether you like it or not, he's going to win because he's contending with law. That's what he's doing. His whole time in office, whenever it's been a fight with them, it's been snake fighting. And let me, let me tell you what I mean by snake fighting. Like, um, we, I'm outside, and it's this big fucking snake that crawls past me every day. Look up at me, crawl past me. And it's another pile of gang of snakes. He just go in there and start fucking one of these snakes up every day. Crawl right past me, look at me, go about his business. Next day, the same thing. Crawl, fuck up some more of them snakes. Now, that pile of snakes over there been menacing me for my whole fucking existence. You, everybody that look like me, our society been scared of that, that snake. So now, this snake crawling past, fucking those snakes up. Those snakes been pretending they've been our friends forever, taking little bites and nicks at us, apologizing. Now, he coming through cleaning these fuckers out. And these snakes start yelling at us. Yo, he's he's a snake. He's a racist. He don't like your kind. He don't like you. He here to eat you up. Not one bite out of me. And sometime before, it's a rumor that he bit one of our people. And in court, it ain't no, it, it didn't go through. Like, I'm talking about with the real estate shit. That's what people want to pin on him. Or now, he a racist, modern day. I'm like, dude, I'm 53 years old. You don't tell me. You know, I've been around. Trump, Trump was rich when I was a boy. He, Trump, Trump, Trump's presidencies. After Trump is president, he's still Trump. You know Barack because he was President Barack. That's the only reason you only presidents because they presidents. Or maybe with Ronald Reagan, he was an actor or whatever. But the only reason you know Barack, black ass, is because he's the president. Trump is Trump. So Trump don't have to play by politician rules. And then he knows politicians. You think he didn't lobby, he didn't have money for shit that he needed, zoning laws and stuff to build that he didn't know how to pad pockets. He the perfect person. All this shit is coming out. The dude that he just pardoned, Michael Flynn, they tried to put him under the jail because he know their secrets. Trump just pardoned him. We, we can't see the world for what it is because we try to see it for what we want and what people tell us it is. Your media... They give you your your thought uh, process. Excuse me, y'all. All of this got the, the hands of God all over it, but we don't know what, what the hands of God look like because we're not interested in it. We're interested in what we can get in our hands and what our come up could be. It's never been clear to me what's going on. You know... 
And the crazy part is with all the people of God, like all the, what I did find out with this Trump situation that I'm, I'm pleasantly shocked about and, and I don't believe in Jesus. It's no way I can. And it's not against you. So if you taking me not believing in Jesus personal, you might be a part of a cult, especially when you haven't researched it. And here's a verse for y'all. All y'all want to believe in Jesus. I'm going to give y'all a couple of verses, and I'm going to say this to you. I can tell you what God said to name of his son in the scripts, and y'all can't straight who he said the name of his son was. Not, I have to piece it together, see this, what that means. Y'all lying to yourself. We got a deliberate God, and y'all sidebarring or trying to piece shit and patch it together and make Jesus his son. Exodus 4 and 22 say, Israel is my son, my firstborn. Anybody that believes Jesus is the son of God, you need to find that where God said that verbatim. It don't, not verbatim, but you can't add and you can't subtract. Your heart, your thoughts, that don't mean anything. You know, you are a wicked ass man at heart and you want what feels good to you. Jesus feel good because you don't have to do shit. It's nice to say somebody else going to clean your fucking mess up. But it's not going to happen. That's not the story what the Israelites went through. And the rest of that shit was added. And one of the rules is don't add, don't subtract. I've been saying this forever. And I'm not begging and pleading. I'm telling you what the story is. That's it. And who am I? I keep the word. That's who I am. And if you think I don't, then show me where I don't. It's that simple. And when you showing me when I don't keep the word, ask yourself, why are you trying to show me? Is it because you love God? <laughs> yeah, you. this shit is over. You can compete if you want. Go ahead, get that competing heart out. Go ahead, show, show who you are. Somebody telling you what the word of God is. Go ahead, rebel against that. You ain't rebelling against me, First Samuel and Nate. Oh, it's not you. It's not you that they're rebelling against. Like, I'm versed in this book. And I say just what it is. It's the same thing with Trump. He versed in what he doing. And he going to say what it is. Whether y'all like it or not, God going to be brought forth. You're not denying me and you're not denying Trump. You're denying God. Like, this dude is maneuvering through politics and dealing with snakes in snake-like fashions. Then the snake's complaining that he too rough for him, appealing to you. And you going along with it. You got other snakes Calling the snake a snake. That's the racism shit. Malcolm said this shit a long time ago. Those people that you calling your friends, the liberal Democrats, they using the fuck out you and been using you from your grandmother and great grandmother time. So black people, you been on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I just got here 50 something years. I done figured out the cycle. People older than me, y'all turned 50 at one point. What the fuck was y'all doing? You can't be losing at this stage. You can't. There's no reason the shit is right out here. If you believe in God the way you say you believe, there's no way you don't see this shit. No way. So we moving into a different time, you know, and the powers that be, they doing their best to fight against it because it means their rule is coming to an end. And it don't mean everything going to be perfect. Don't mean that. But it start from the top. And it start with sovereignty. And you seeing one dude separating this country from, from the centralized banking system. When you talk about Illuminati, and it's the things that we don't know. And it's biblical. But they try to turn it into business. And it all go back to the Romans. Who are the Jews? The, the Germanic people. So calling themselves Rome and Jews is just a formality, but they are Germanic. You know, the same people that's the Africans, Germanics, Dutch Germanics, you would call them European or white people, they're behind all of it because they did rule what you would call the world at one time. Now, the world today is a lot different than it was back then. All you needed was a hell of an army and... People didn't know everybody everywhere. The world was Baltimore could have been the world. Or Maryland could have been the world. Maryland, Virginia, and ah, fuck, what's, what's close to that? Delaware. It could have been the world. And if your army could fuck everybody up, then you ruled the world. What names you had 
it depends on the person. It could have been a guy named Roman. He went somewhere and started out the civilization. And today we call it Rome. It's this great big civilization because one little dickhead decided to move somewhere. That's it. We can't take in shit. We think it's Magnus and it's simple shit. The problem with blacks, you are very, very simple people. And you get taken in by a European mind, mind state. They ponder us. Freud, all this shit, wondering, hmm, why are you wondering? It's in your hands. When you start trying to explain shit like gravity and the earth spinning 93 million miles from the sun, you're dealing with voodoo now. <laughs> that ain't nothing you could never figure out. And it's something I can't figure out why you would want to figure out. You know it can't serve. My kids can't use that shit. Here goes something else you might not have thought about. Being up there, too, is against the creator. You know what I'm saying? Like, we not supposed to be up there moving around. How do I know? Common sense, and most of y'all don't have that shit. Um, that's air. What's, that's, we got solid, liquid, and gas. So I guess the clouds and up there would be considered gas. So we can walk on the solid, right? And if you get thrown in the ocean or the liquid, you can pretty much swim and make do. You know, you can adapt to the land. You can adapt to that water. But if you get let out of a helicopter, airplane, or something up there, you don't have no fucking way of not falling to your death. So you probably shouldn't be in a place that you don't have any control over, considering you're supposed to self-lord and master yourself over everything. Now, taking a boat, a drive, it might be a little longer, but the survival rates, if, if something happens, is a little greater. You know, and people say, well, when it's time to die, it's time to die. That's a lie. You know, your actions determine what time you leave. That's on the creator. That ain't on man. And this man telling you, you got a predestined time. That's a goddamn lie. None of us know. So it can't be predestined. If it's predestined, who's it predestined by? The creator? So his predestination could be today, tomorrow, but it's when the fuck he say. That's another myth. So your favor going to be granted on by the work you do. No more, no less. And showing up at church today is not work. Saying Jesus is going to do something is not work. He actually have an order, a day-to-day -day that we're supposed to keep. Y'all know what that is? No, you don't. <laughs>